Greetings. On Tuesday, April the 15th, it was my privilege to announce and to officially open the Synod for the Archdiocese of New Orleans, the ninth Synod in the history of our Archdiocese. One may ask, well, what is a Synod? The word Synod means a gathering of the church. The purpose of our Synod is for clergy, religious, and lay faithful to gather and to prayerfully ask some very, very important questions. As we look to the future, what is God's vision and God's priorities for us as we look towards the next three to five years? That's an important question. And we're not looking for our vision and for our priorities, but prayerfully we come together at various meetings and gatherings to ask the question, God, where are you leading us? What is your vision? What are your priorities for us over the next couple of years? This process will begin by having consultation sessions throughout the Archdiocese of New Orleans. In fact, there will be 16 sessions that will be open. 10 of them will be open to the general public. There will be one in each deanery. We'll have one for priests, one for deacons, one for those in consecrated life, one for youth, one for young adults, and one for the Hispanic ministry. At those gatherings, we will ask three questions. What is it that you believe the Catholic Church and Archdiocese of New Orleans is doing well? Secondly, what could we do better? And thirdly, what is it that you believe the Catholic Church and the Archdiocese of New Orleans should be doing in order to foster God's kingdom and that we are not giving attention to that particular area? First of all, I invite you to take part in the Synod. There will be gatherings throughout the entire Archdiocese that is published on this website. It's also in the Clarion Herald please feel free to come to those meetings. I will be at each and every one of those meetings. My purpose to be there is to listen. I will open the gathering with a prayer and then really listen for the next hour to what you have to say. And what you have to say is important to us because we believe that it is by this dialogue and consultation that we will come to clarity as to what God's vision and priorities are for us as an archdiocese. This synod process will last approximately a year to a year and a half. And at the end, through a lot of discussion and then the work of a oversight committee, we will then propose three to five major priorities with objectives, goals and objectives for each one that will be measurable that we can really accomplish over the next several years. We entrust this important process to your prayers and to your consultation and advice. And we also entrust it to St. Louis King of France, the patron of the Archdiocese of New Orleans. St. Louis King of France was a very interesting person. He was married, had many kids, children. He was also a man who was very, very close to the Lord. And in his role as husband and father, he lived his faith. And we have actually some writings that he did to his children about living their faith. And as he became the King of France, he took the teachings of the gospel and of the church and tried to implement those into the government in France when he was king. It's very clear to me that St. Louis, King of France, discerned and prayed about God's vision and priorities in his life and in the life of his country. We're now asking St. Louis, King of France, to pray with us and to pray for us that we can be open to the Holy Spirit of God to know what it is that the Lord is asking of us. This is an important historical moment in the Archdiocese of New Orleans, one that I am very, very excited about, and I hope that you will participate in this. May God's blessings be with you. May God's blessings in the prayers of St. Louis, King of France, be with us as an archdiocese as we venture into this important, prayerful experience.